We're going to get the compressor now. Yep. Don't want to have to do this again now. Nope. Just about there. Sorry, just about there. Just about there. Well, it's been a lot of organisation, um, just writing lists and lists and lists and lists of equipment because we can't be in a position where we've forgotten something because we'll be working in quite a remote area. Um, and also there's been, you know, getting the permits and getting the permissions and so on. So it's been a lot of work, but now there's just the anticipation of uh, starting the job and making sure we can do it properly. Well, I mean, initially it was found by a, a British person in 1967, uh, uh, Nicholas Fleming, who's one of the sort of founding fathers of underwater archaeology. Um, he's now in his 70s and is still a bit like a dynamo. He's still involved uh, in underwater archaeology, oceanography, and he's actually going to be on our project. So he's, he's our oceanographer. So it was originally found by a, 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 a British person, if you like, and then it was a British team in Cambridge University Underwater Exploration Group did a survey in 1968 uh, using hand tapes. Um, and then nothing has been done since then, really. Um, and we're going back now because we've got new techniques. We can now do a digital survey of this site and do a three-dimensional rendering of it. All that exists at the moment is a two-dimensional um, hand tape survey. Um, so it's really the technology that's brought us back. I mean, that's why it's been such a long time. But it's an incredibly important site and the, the Greeks are well aware of it and that's why it's a joint project with the Greek government. We're working with the underwater ephoria of uh, 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 culture in Greece um, and Mr Elias Spondilis is uh, our co-director out there. This is the first phase of a project that we're hoping is going to last four to five years um, and the first phase this year is to do a survey of the site, is to record it in its entirety. Um, in three dimensions so that we can produce reconstructions of it, photorealistic reconstructions of the remains that are there. So really our aim is to record what's surviving now um, and get an idea of the um, survival of sediment on the site so that next year we can plan our excavations. It's a joint project, remember, so the Greek underwater referee are bringing boats, are bringing divers, are bringing equipment as well. We are really just bringing the survey side of things, um, the sort of specialist equipment, the sector scan sonar, which is the acoustic sonar that can do the three-dimensional survey. Um, so a lot of the diving stuff will be produced uh, by the Greeks. Hoping it's going to last five years. Um, uh, it's all depending on funding and uh, success from year to year. But yeah, it's going to be a, a major part of my life for the next five years. It's going to be difficult being in a sunny, beautiful climate with uh, lovely food. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll have to get used to it. I'll try. <laughs>